Hello all, welcome to my channel. The topic we are going to discuss today is about PM Shri scheme. Let us see what is the current issue that is there in the news. Union cabinet approves PM Shri scheme for, for school upgradation. So it is basically a scheme for upgradation of schools. And recently the cabinet has approved this scheme. Now let us look more into the issue. On the occasion of the Teachers Day 2022, the Prime Minister of India announced a new initiative, PM Shri Schools. So recently on the occasion of the Teachers Day, Prime Minister of our country has announced a new initiative of PM Shri School. PM, PM Shri School stands for PM Schools for Rising India or Pradhan Mandri School for Rising India. It will be a laboratory for the new national education policy and under the first phase 14,500 schools will be upgraded. So this is an initiative that is part of the national education policy and under the first phase of this scheme about 14,500 schools will be upgraded. Now let us see what is PM Shri scheme. It is a centrally sponsored scheme for upgradation and development of, the, of more than 14,500 schools across the country. So PM Shri scheme is a centrally sponsored scheme. A centrally spons sponsored scheme means it is not fully funded by the central government. About 60% of it is funded by the central government and the remaining 40% will be funded by the states. And in the case of less developed states like the northeastern states, it will be 90% funded by the central government and 10% will be funded by the state governments. Whereas a central sector scheme means it is fully funded by the central government. You should remember that. So I repeat, centrally sponsored scheme is a scheme which is not fully funded by the central government. It is funded both by the central and the state government. Whereas a central sector scheme is fully funded by the central government. So. PM Shri is a scheme for the upgradation of about 14,500 schools across the country. It aims at strengthening the selected existing schools from amongst the schools managed by central government, state or union territory government local bodies. So the basic aim of this scheme is to strengthen the existing schools which are selected for this scheme which are currently managed either under the central government or under the state government or the union territory government or the local bodies. So the existing already existing schools which are managed by either of these bodies like the central government or the state or the union territory government or the local bodies will be upgraded as part of the scheme. PM Shri stands for Pradhan Mandri Schools for Rising India. I repeat PM Shri stands for Pradhan Mandri Schools for Rising India. Another important point to note is that PM Shri scheme is under the Ministry of Education. Now let us see what is the significance of this scheme. It will showcase all components of the national education policy 2020 and act as exemplar schools and also offer mentorship to other schools in their vicinity. So by implementing this scheme, the government is planning to show all the major components of the national education policy which was introduced in 2020. And these schools will also act as an example for other schools so that they can improve their performance. And they will also offer mentorship to other schools in their vicinity. So they will also offer mentorship to schools which are nearby. The aim of these schools will not only be qualitative teaching, learning and cognitive development, but also creating holistic and well-rounded individuals equipped with the key 21st century skills. So the aim of these schools is not only about quality teaching and learning, they also aims at the overall development of the individual and also provide them skills that are relevant in the 21st century. The method adopted in these schools will be more experimental, holistic, integrated, play based inquiry-driven, discovery-oriented, learner-centered, discussion-based, flexible and enjoyable. So these schools will be will not be adopting the normal traditional teaching methods. They will be trying something new. 
new methods of teaching which are more experimental and holistic for the overall development of children and they sh they are inquiry driven so to awaken the scientific talents of children and they should be discovery oriented and the learner centered so they are planning to they are planning to approach the teaching in a learner centered perspective and their teaching will be will also be based on discussion so that people can find out their other talents also and their teaching will be flexible and more enjoyable all these are significance of the scheme the focus will be on achieving proficiency in learning outcomes of every child in every grade so they will be focusing on achieving proficiency in learning outcomes of every child in every grade assessment at all levels will be based on conceptual understanding and application of knowledge to real life situation and will be competency based so they are planning to assess children on the basis of their conceptual understanding that is whether they understand the concept or not and whether they can able whether they are able to apply the learned knowledge in a real life situation and it will be competency based so they will be assessing the children based on their performance in a real life situation or mo or in a more practical manner these schools will be equipped with modern infrastructure including labs smart classrooms libraries sports equipments art room etc which is inclusive and accessible so the pm shri schools will be provided with high high grade infrastructure facilities like labs smart classroom libraries sports equipment etc and all of these will be inclusive and accessible to all children that is a major significance these schools shall also be developed as green schools with uh, water conservation waste recycling energy efficient infrastructure and integration of organic lifestyle in curriculum so the government is planning to develop these pm shri schools as green schools with water conservation waste recycling energy efficient infrastructure and integration of organic lifestyle in curriculum so they are planning to implant an awareness in the children about the importance of protecting the environment by um, including water conservation the waste management etc so that they can address the issues that our country is facing and they will be aware about the importance and the methods that we can adopt to protect our environment which is of high significance in the current scenario with this i am ending the lecture i hope you like this video thank you